Hi there, it's Lynn B Fairy One back again. I'm sorry my camera, uh, my phone cut out, and um, so I'm going to have to carry on from there. So luckily, I finished at a place uh, where I could carry on. Right, okay. So I'm on to the specials now, which um, is um, like the special body. Um, I've done done the bodices, so I'm carrying on. I have sleeves. I have two sleeves and they're both the same. Um they're very vintagey looking, um like a, a net base carrying on up. I mean you could if you wanted to to cut these separately. There's quite a quite a lot on there. And um I'm asking two pound each, so that's sleeves. I've only got one one pack of sleeves, so um that's that. Right. Then I've got some um medallion medallion type um appliques. So um the first one is this one. Um and it's sort of what I call like on the tatting like the netting background with like the tatting um type uh corded appliques. So you um <clears throat> Again, if you wanted to, I mean, I wouldn't. You could cut this one out of the middle and then uh, these round the outside. But um, I wouldn't if you've got a lo nice box or something. That would look lovely on the top. So um, I have four of those and I'm asking pound fifty each. So that's number, I'm calling this A. So the sleeves were separate, just sleeves. This is A. One pound fifty each, and I have four. What's that one, right? This one, absolutely stunning. I nearly kept this for these for myself, but um, I've got an I've I've got quite a lot that I've kept. So, right, it is quite long. I would hang on a minute. I would say it's two foot, maybe, and um, it's got that aged look, uh, beautiful beading as far as I can see, ah, one of them has, um, down here, not this one, the other one has a few beads missing down here, um, but it's it could be very easily rectified. So, um, this, um, as I said, beautiful as I go up. These were panels in the back of a train. I mean, look at that. Look. Absolutely beautiful. I have two of these. These are B special B and I'm asking three pound each so that's that one then we're on panel C or special C I've called them panels but this again is quite a long one this is white see it comes down to a point Again, if you wanted to, you could cut it up, but I I thought it was really pretty. So there it is. So that one is um, panel C or special C. Just say C. I know what you mean if you just say C. And um, that one is two pound fifty just move this one out this is number D this is a smaller one came off the same dress but it's a bit smaller and that is number D and that one is pound fifty. number E is like a little a little small medallion this is off that same dress that was 
very vintagey looking and um, it's got these like little clusters of beads coming down and then the the bugle bead um, not bugle beads um, seed beads yeah it has got it has got bugle beads on it I thought it did there white ones okay now how many have I got of those that's E I have two of those at one pound fifty each um, right the next one is a mixed lot because um, it was pointless selling so I have this one I have this one I have another this one which is slightly different from the first one and I have this one sorry so there's odd four odd ones there and um, that is F and I'm asking three pound for all four so that was that if you're not um, if you're not sure about anything just um, contact me right then I have a bag of bows small bows right there are four four of these ones they're just plain like a double uh, double thickness with um, just like twisted beads so there's four of those and then there's two smaller ones So I'm asking, sorry, let's turn my book round. Uh, bag of bows, £2. I have one large bow. It does turn the other way. It's just, it's got stiffener in it. And where it's been in a bag, there. Okay, that's a big bow. I'm asking one pound for that one. Then I have um, some flowers. Right. These flowers. Like this, they're all the same. And they're 50p each, so I've got three of those, so it's flowers. Okay. Right, what's the time? I've got time to just quickly show you the doilies. Right, doilies. I have the sow. Just bear with me one moment. Okay. I have this size one, which is, I've measured it, it's about five and a half inches, which I think is a perfect um, size to do a doily book um, because by the time you've got your, like, your um, dangly bits and you, the bits that come around the outside, you know, that would be a good size. And it's it's... A good sturdy one you know um put a bit of um i'd put two together but i would put some felt or perhaps some uh thin wadding in between <clears throat> and um i'm selling those at five for a pound and i have got five sets i've got 25 of them then i've got these ones which are quite big. These are about eight inches. And um, again, you could use them to make a doily book. It would be a good big, big one. But, um, oh, it's back to the front. Sorry. Uh, lovely little sort of uh, pansy embroidery in the middle. And then, um, that could be pansy or orchid maybe. I don't know, but these um, tea dye well because I've I've um, dyed a couple. Um, I charge one pound fifty for two, and um, how many lots have I got? Seven. So I've got seven sets of uh, two. So that's those. Then the doily bags, grab bags. I'm not going to take them out, but you get um, over sixty of mixed doilies from uh five inches to down to an inch um of what i've got at the moment 
and um, you've got a good mixture in there. You've got um, there's some new ones. There's a blue new one. There's a white new one, and there's a I can't see it there, but there is another. There is a new um, talk one. So um, the grab bags, the doily grab bags are five pounds. These ones, and then I'm actually doing because I've got so many small ones um, that I need to uh, clear. I'm doing a uh, a bag of small ones. Um, there's over sixty five in here, and I'm going to charge a four pound. So if you want the normal doily bag, just say uh, the large one. Or if you want the small ones, just say small ones. So the normal one is five pound. You get a mixture of everything that I've got. Or if you say small ones, it'll just be the really small ones. Like from um, these are about two to two and a half inches. That's the biggest one. And then um, the rest go down. And these make real, you know, they're really good for building up to make flowers or in with lace to make flowers. Um, even like this tiny one here, it's about an inch, makes a great centerpiece, you know, and then put your little um, button or your, your bling stone or whatever you're going to use on the top of that. They make really nice flowers. So I think, oh, edging. I have loads of doily, ed um, like doily edgings like this. Um, and I need to clear them because... It, they're taking up so much space so um if anybody's interested in these um they're two pound a strip and um they're, they're all different lengths um i've got white i've got it's a top one um here's another white one this is another white one with um with a little flower sorry <laughs> with a little flower in the middle which can all be cut out and used. Um, it's got a slight little shell edging on it. So, um, yeah, two pound a strip. Some of them are quite long. Some of them are over a metre. Sorry, I'm waving about here. Sorry. <clears throat> um, I think that is everything. Right, if anybody's interested, I'm going to say this. <laughs> Please don't contact me through YouTube. You can contact me through Facebook. I am Lynn Kent on Facebook. I also have a page on Facebook called The Bead Fairy, which you can contact me through that page. Or you can email me at beadfairy at hotmail.co.uk. So that's the three ways to contact me. If you leave me a message under YouTube... I don't get me I don't get told. I do try to keep an eye on it, but um uh you know I've had arguments with people saying oh they they got got there first, but I I don't know that they got there first. So, you know, it is on a first, you know, the specials especially are on a first come first serve basis. Um so you know, I have to be fair with everyone. I've got a lot of regular customers and I try to be fair to everybody. The other thing is, if anybody wants any free satin, then just let me know uh, with when you message me and I will put some in your parcel. Obviously, we've got to try and stick to the weight restrictions of a kilo, otherwise the postage goes up. Um, I do use my Hermes, as I said in the other one, and that will be tracked. OK, so I'm, my minutes are getting up. I need to go. And um, thanks for looking. Bye for now.